so consider this k map uh, we discussed this k map in the previous videos so i told you there are so many different implicants which are possible in this particular k map but in this particular k map what is what is the essential prime implicant so there's only one essential prime implicant which is bd for example here you can see bd is covering 5 which is not uh, which is okay uh, bd is covering 13 and 15 which is not covered by anything else therefore bd is an essential prime implicant bd is an essential prime implicant therefore bd should be there in the solution so let us identify what are the different solutions which we can have or uh, what are the implicants or what are the prime implicants which can be then the solution to make the solution correct uh, uh, and what are the different solutions we can form after this so bd should be there so what are the things which bd is covering bd is covering 5 so no one else need to cover 5 bd is covering 7 so no one else need to cover 7 bd is covering 13 so no one else need to cover 13 bd is covering 15 so no one else need to cover 15 okay so now look at the other ones we have a complement c d complement a co complement c d complement we have a complement b c we have a complement b complement d complement this is a complement b complement d complement we have a complement b complement c complement a complement b complement c complement and a complement c complement and d complement okay so uh, let us try to identify uh, what can make a solution as minimum as possible okay so all these terms this one this one this one this one this one none of them is essential because everything which they are covering it is also covered by at least two of them these are also covered by at least two of them okay so if you want to find a minimized solution then in that solution we have to cover all the terms which are 0 2 and 6 because they are only covered by these terms okay so uh, let us try to identify if you take a complement c d complement then this is covering 2 and 6 but if you take a complement b c complement this is only covering 6 we want uh, a term which is covering the maximum number of terms or you can say maximum uh, number of these uh, these uh, numbers uh, or you can terms so uh, we will be taking this one because it is covering 2 so no one else need to cover 2 and it is covering 6 so no one else need to cover 6 so solution should contain a complement c d complement so solution can be b d plus a complement c d complement right so now uh, if you take if you take uh, a complement b complement d complement then we have to take this one because this is not covering one and if you take a complement c d complement still we have to take this one because this is not covering one so it is not necessary that you take these two terms uh, because if you take a complement if you take a complement b complement c complement then this is going to cover one as well as zero this is going to cover one as well as zero so we are covering every term in this solution equation so you can say this is a solution equation which is minimizing which is minimizing uh, this particular uh, we are having least number of literals as well as we are having least number of min terms right so still it is not necessary that you are going to have a unique solutions for every problem we may be having more than one solutions for example instead of taking uh, a complement c d complement we could have taken something else uh, so that we could have benefited from it for example instead of taking this one because this one is covering uh, Fine. we could have taken something else but i'll take some more examples where you can see there are more than one solutions which are possible for a particular equation and uh, those more than one solutions can give you two or three equations which are minimized which are covering minimum number of literals which are covering minimum number of min terms and still they are representing the same function okay so you can note it down 